Oh. So this has been my favorite um, dance uh, music. Yeah, that's my. This is very well done and well choreographed. We're about to watch Mean Girls, the new one. I am very excited to jump into this. Here we go. What is going on, everybody? I'm Javi Koe, joined by Sintel Koe. I almost called you by your legal name. Oh, my goodness. It's been a minute since what? we shot together. <laughs> Come on, now. You know my name rings out these government streets. You better chill out. <laughs> so, I'm very excited to do a reuniting with you for this reuniting of a thing, so to speak, because Tina Fey, you know, updated this movie. And so, <laughs> you know, we watched the other Mean Girls together. If you all want to see that, that's available on the YouTubes and our Patreon. If you want to watch this with us on, uh, without any cuts or interruptions, not broken up into parts, which is what we got to do for YouTube, just head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this YouTube channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. Reaction? Reaction that way. Reaction. Promise her. And so anyway, <laughs> we're going to get into this. Uh, subscribe, bell icon, all notifications. Vote this up if you're watching this on YouTube. Here we go. And I dropped my phone. You got it? Yep. Okay, yep. there we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and dropped it. It's a cautionary tale <laughs> of fear and lust and pride based on actual events where people die. No one dies. <laughs> Baby fish will make you think twice. Then clicker, Fossey. This is a cautionary tale. Oh, the xylophone was a nice touch. <laughs> 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 Dude is jamming out. <laughs> I, I only got that kind of confidence when I'm drunk. <laughs> hey! I was wondering how that was going to segue to Africa. Alright, I like the little, little song. Is there a, is there a um a Broadway show of Mean Girls? Not that I know of. This is a smart move because then you can translate this into a Broadway show. Katie, I've been thinking about what you said about being frustrated by my decision and feeling a little stuck here. I'm sorry I yelled. Maybe I've been a little oh, selfish so putting different. my research ahead of your social and emotional development. I called the people from Northwestern back. That's Lois Lane, right? Is it? Oh, what's the actress's name? It's gonna bug me. Amy, no. I forgot her name. It'll come to me later on. You looking it up? I'm trying. You see me over here, kind of like half. I can see the look on your face. He's like, I gotta know. Investigate. Jenna Fisher. That's, oh, it's not it's not Lois Lane. No. I was way off. She uh she's she's old girl from the office. I wasn't a huge watcher of the office, but what? all of those people that are on the office, y'all know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Pam. Yeah. Oh, okay. And she looks so much like um, older. Huh? <laughs> she just looks so much older. Is that what you were about to say? No, she looks so much like the actress who played Lois Lane. I was like, no, why does she look different? <laughs> Is it not the same woman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice Ariel. That dude in the background. Yeah, I like the music. I'm really surprised how much I'm enjoying the music so much. It sounds very Disney-like. Whoa. People making out already. Damn. Bitch, move. <laughs> nice. My name is Mr. Rep, and I take no. No, don't, don't do that. Oh boy. My name is Mr. Rep, and I take no. Crap. Care of myself? <laughs> the answer was crap. <laughs> Find a seat. I don't want you to think of me as just any other teacher. I prefer to think of myself as a time traveler. She's sitting on the floor? Yeah, I do remember like the lunchroom being a very big deal. Like there really was like staked land claims in the lunchroom when I was in high school. I don't think I ate in the cafeteria all that often. People just ate wherever. What'd you eat there? Did you eat the hallway? Did you eat in the bathroom like her? 
Dude, I came. I probably came close. I was pretty isolated in ninth grade. Hi. The amount I'm of germs Intimate floating in the fears. air. This is Damien. He is almost too gay to function. But I push through. <laughs> too gay to function. <laughs> what does that even mean? I have what no does idea. that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> we will help you, Caddy. Thanks so much. Get out of the toilet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your horny, horny band freaks. Oh my god. What the hell? Jeez. Everybody be making out in this school. Who's at that table? Oh, no, 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 no. We call them the plastics because they're shiny, fake, and hard. Yeah, that's Gretchen Wieners. She knows everything about everybody. That's why her hair's so big. It's about a secret. And that's Karen Shetty. She's the dumbest person you'll ever meet. I once saw her put a D in the word orange. Wow. God damn! How dumb do you be? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I had to. I had to like try to put it in my head. I'm like, Dorange. <laughs> I think we can make an exception. Uh oh. What was that? Oh Lord, it's the Queen Bee. Don't look her in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they switch formats for this stuff. You notice it's widescreen now, like uh, two, three, nine. Ah, because it's epic. Because it's the musical moments. Every time they do a musical, they go into 239. All right, then, Regina. Oh, wow. These are high school kids. My name is Regina. Oh, Regina, shoot. <laughs> and, and the track's kind of hot, too. I like this better than the opening one because it seems like she's actually singing it. Mm. You. Yeah, you. Come here. Oh, and then switch back. Yeah. Okay. Why don't I know you? I just moved here from Kenya. Shut up. I didn't say anything. You look really pretty. Damn. She looks super spaced, didn't she? <laughs> we never really do this. But you're invited to eat lunch with us for the rest of the week. Oh, um, that's okay. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. But you will not rest on your laurels this year. I plan what is a laurel? to push you. And how do you rest upon them? Chapter one. Laurels? Limit I think it's like laurels. Laurels. She said you will not rest on your laurels. I've equation. heard that before. I'm just like, what is a laurel? Uh, I know what it means. It's hard to explain while I'm watching a movie. <laughs> like, don't rest on your accomplishments. Uh. K for which the following limit exists. K equals negative three. Damn, girl. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's your heartthrob. Are you trying to make the rest of us feel dumb? No, I I'm not trying to. It's just uh, happening. Oh. <laughs> when I was nine, I fell in love. This Peace Corps guy. I waited hours inside his town with flowers, which made him laugh. I'm a little mad they didn't switch two, three, to three to the widescreen aspect ratio. <laughs> Just because it's more uh, happy. Oh, you maybe that's to, what like, it keen is. Keen in on the evil. <laughs> Smart with math, but stupid with love. I didn't get it. I didn't get it till now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you, math, for being there. To bring me joy. And thank you, Math, because now you brought me this cute boy. Oh. Like someone oh. on TV, he's like that guy who gives up Oh, well, she's not well, totally, man. like, oblivious to the nature of things. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm super oh. Well. oh, we got the, the sunset light it. going on. <laughs> I want to get it. I didn't get it till now. I bet this had to be a fun shoot. I'm astounded. Yeah, she looks like a stalker. <laughs> a little bit. It's a little creepy. <laughs> it is. Especially the way she's standing. Obviously, it's a musical moment, so. I didn't get it till now. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Damn. I'm not. <laughs> that was all in my ears. 
What are you doing after school today? I want to give you some shoes. <laughs> what kind of shoes? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> or those? Some, something fancy. Oh, dang. She got, the, she got the hikers on. Maybe she's just being generous. Maybe we can have a commensal relationship. What is that? I want one. <laughs> so, in nature. Okay, so lions. They're the apex predator. They're the top of the food chain. They can kill anything they want. But if you're a hyena, well, then you follow them around and you eat the carcasses. Dang. I'm just saying, if you're on Regina's good side. Oh, Teddy. No, no, no. Regina George does not have a good side. Ooh. Okay, if you go over to her house today, I'm not joking. Be careful. I'm not joking. Be careful. Welcome, Katie from Kenya. <laughs> we haven't had any new meat that, in our That whole chick taco always so looks long. like she's on shrooms or something. <laughs> this For one sure. right here. For sure. Yes. Yes. She's just... Regina, you're never gonna believe what I found in your closet this morning. Why are you in my closet? Because I'm doing that Japanese organizing thing where you take a little nap in the closet. What? I found your burn oh. book. <gasps> Katie, this is just like the funniest thing that the girls used to do. Please leave. <laughs> I'm gonna be right downstairs. If you need to talk to me about anything, I mean it deep stuff or boy troubles or blackheads or alcohol poisoning. Trang fam is a grotsky little biatch. So true. Don Schweitzer is a horny shrimp. Janice Emi E.K. Pyroles. I forgot about that. Oh my god, she is so weird. She is? Go find the shoes. Shoes we're giving to Katie. Oh my god, you are literally being so annoying. I like how she says it with a smile Sorry. on her face. Goodness, and then she has to you know, throw the little hair back too. Just. Add to the disrespect. Are you okay? Where'd she get that sweater no, from? Uh, totally. Virginia's just joking. He's so cute. Try him. They have this book, this burn book, where they write mean things about girls in our grade. Oh, oh, oh. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Those bitches. <laughs> <laughs> So it's H prime of X equals five. You just, you forgot the product rules. I don't get any of this. <clears throat> nice job, Katie. Sure, it seems like you get it. Me dumb. <laughs> hey, my friend Chris is uh, having a Halloween party. Would you wanna come to that? It's like a costume party. People get pretty into it. Gruel. What? I, I meant to say great and then I started to say cool. Gruel. Okay. That's gotta be a t-shirt. Gruel. <laughs> that's gotta be a t-shirt. That's that's a new word. Oh, good. <laughs> that little, little mouse. Well, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of wow. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, some big ears. <laughs> Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Katie, if you don't dress slutty, that is slut shaming us. What? <laughs> That's some interesting logic. Um, it's just like traditionally, girls had to be witches or clowns, and we've worked really hard to progress past that. I'm gonna go find Aaron. Okay. I can sexy cure some cancer? No. I can cure sex cancer. Sex cancer doesn't exist. I did it. Yes, right. Oh. So this has been my favorite um, dance uh, music. Yeah, that's my, this is very well done and well choreographed. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she almost snapped her whole leg. I think people underestimate just like how much planning go is involved in this stuff. Like that was a long take. I think you and Aaron cute. would be a really cute couple. Uh, really? You know, I could talk to him for you if you want. 
See if he likes you back. You would do that for me? Mm -hmm. Don't you believe it. I need to talk to you. Me? Here we go. Okay, so you know the homeschool girl, Katie? Yeah, I invited her tonight. Yeah, well, be careful. She has a huge crush on you. I didn't think this would be so hard for me. What? I don't know, I guess I just, just have like a lot of like unresolved trauma from how things ended with us. Give me a break. <laughs> I feel you, dog. <laughs> What a transition. I know, right? I think she's got the best voice, Regina does. Well, that's why they hired her ass. Yeah, she got yeah, that think, voice. <laughs> yeah, it's something. Yeah, it's really Marilyn Monroe-ish or something. I don't know. It's something. It's, I it mean, sounds I, I'm dangerous. Not, I'm, I'm not up to speed on my uh, modern music and shit, but it reminds me more of Billie Eilish. Ah, okay. Okay. Just the vibe. There, she got him. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, right in front of you. Ooh. Make eye contact with her, too. Damn. They're at home and eat popcorn and Cheetos. <laughs> oh! She took him back. She took Aaron back. She did. It's because... Regina's a life ruiner. When we were in sixth grade, she told everybody that Janice. Damien! <laughs> she is not gonna let him get that out. You lit a fire because Regina got a boyfriend. She said, What? Oh, hell no. Damien! No! The truth will be told. Stay with me, Katie. Oh, he's ready. Janice and Regina were best friends in middle school. And at that time, females expressed their identities through collectible plushies. I, I don't know what. At that time. It's these bastards. <laughs> That's still a thing. And they were everywhere. Regina Why gave Janice a, a BFF set for her. Bunny birthday. mask on. Janice put a rainbow patch on hers. This is how uh, she it, came out to her friend. Oh. She used to be human. <laughs> Cut to eight months later, Regina becomes obsessed with this gross boy. Kyle. Your skill is completely off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you let me cook, please? The bunny mask might be a reference to Donnie Darko. Mmm, that's a deep call. Regina put on a little show. <gasps> and what? Kyle was like, boom! <laughs> they got into a huge fight. Regina started avoiding Janice at school, but did she give back that plush animal? She named her Sissy Liz, and she made everyone say good morning to it every day. And it was very weird and boring. Fast forward. It was very weird and boring. <laughs> <laughs> Regina uh, had been making fun of Janice this entire time and everyone but her knew it. Wow. So, that is pretty foul. And this is regrettable. Janice mm. took her Bunsen burner and torched the doll. And Regina's backpack caught on fire a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just bit, a little look. nothing. Just rub it off. Just knock the char just off. A little fire. There's nothing. <laughs> now you know Regina George is not your friend. We are your friends. And we're going to make her pay. You know what friends do? They got your back and they are fun to be around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. No. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Imagine the party the dress is in Wow. And there's a magic act that saws Regina in half, and this time it'll take. Dude, this is beautifully done. Like yeah. this camera movement. The camera movement is another like dancer in the scene. I end up with Aaron when she's gone. Yes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, bitch. I think I need a tutor. I can tutor you if you want. That's how I got my first girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hench party, a party that ends. 
Somebody crushed in the wall and ugly crying. <laughs> 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 She's gonna work it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. She created a wow. whole vibe. <laughs> that backfired hard. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's from. Dang. Thanks for being such a great best friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> she almost had the little. <laughs> She's got a twitch. She gave you those high heel shoes just to make fun of you because she knew. Oh, look at her. She's spilling the beads. Doesn't take much. Her sanity was bursting at the seams already, though. <laughs> She's just. Also, she totally cheats on Aaron. <laughs> Every Tuesday she says she has college prep, but really she's hooking up with Shane Omen in the third floor janitorial closet on the bags of sawdust that they use for barf. Dang. I never told anyone because I am such a good friend. <laughs> and I'm only telling you because you're such a good friend. Shady. Good mess him up. Mm. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> like he ditched her at the party. That's an awful feeling. You've experienced that. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Although you took it you took it on the chin really well though. It does not feel good. God damn. damn. A shirt off and everything. I mean, took the pants off too. Well, that's that for that. Mm. 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 Hurt him harder. <laughs> I'm so mad at him. I know. <laughs> They are objectifying this poor man. What is he, just a piece of meat for your entertainment? Look at this thing. It's I can't sexy. even see it. It's a I face can't. breast. She said it's a face, face breast. breast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a face breast. <laughs> okay. This is a change up. Hello. <laughs> My French is rusty. I, I don't know what he's thinking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of missing me a little bit. Uh, that was Damien Hubbard singing the iCarly theme song in French. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. He was putting in work, dude. You could see yeah, his yeah. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> the iCarly theme song. Are you suck at MC? You ain't got nothing on me. For my grades, to my rhymes, you can't touch Kevin G. I'm a mad <laughs> The mom. <laughs> the mom's like, <laughs> clap. I would be shoes, but I'm an overachiever. Under the sheet, she'd be like, oh, Kevin G. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, we talked about this. Come on, man, let him cook. He says, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh damn. damn. She ate the whole thing. That's going to hurt your ego more than anything. Uh, I love everybody got the cameras out. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not grow up with that. <laughs> this was kind of hilarious. Damn. Oh, <laughs> Gretchen, high old drive, Regina. Gina really should be lifting through her glutes. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> why, 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 is the, why is the coach chiming in? <laughs> Lift with your glutes. <laughs> Katie Heron was the only one that acted normal. Oh, yeah. I think she salvaged the worst tradition of the year. Period. She was, she was kind of hot. She might even be hotter than Regina George. Oh. Hmm. High school life is different today. You can't sit with us. Damn. Oh, she got the sweatpants on too. You're wearing sweatpants. Oh, it's Thursday. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Yeah, because that vest was disgusting. You can't sit with us. Dang. These sweatpants are all that fit me right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Dang. Oh, we're not supposed to laugh at that part. This thing's hilarious. We are supposed to laugh at that. Sorry, Regina. Rules are rules. That's right. It's lean into the dark side. Fine. Everything's fine until it's used against you. Take a picture, losers. It'll last longer. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 
These are all that'll fit me. That's terrible. And that was the beginning of the mother end. <laughs> he did the bleep. He did the bleep. <laughs> Queen. Regina, Regina George, George, Karen, Karen Shetty, Shetty, and, and Gretchen, Gretchen Wieners. Wieners. Same old, same old. And Caddy Heron. Oh. She's super pop. Hey, do you want to lift this weekend? Because Jamie is borrowing his grandma's jersey. I, I lift to what? My art show. Didn't you just hear Mr. Duvall talking about it? Oh, shoot. I have tickets to this thing in Madison with my mom. I, I, I'm sorry. Dang, and you just blew that right off. What are we doing this weekend? Why is everyone asking me about the weekend? It's Tuesday. Yeah, the weekend is only... Several days away. <laughs> she can't math it. <laughs> she can't math it quick enough. <laughs> is this you holding a crocodile? Oh my god, don't look at that. That is so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's awesome. I don't buy this. This dude just hanging out in her room looking at her kid photos and shit. <laughs> like, no. Why are you eating Caltine bars? These are what we gave Nana Joan when we needed her to gain weight. Oh. She pulled the emergency stop, too, not the regular stop. <laughs> that psycho's coming through. Mm. That realization. <laughs> that mom was great. She didn't know whether to put it down or keep it or what. She was just confused. <laughs> we should go downstairs. No, 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 sit down. I'm amazing. Oh, my God, I don't buy this. This dude is not, this is not real. What man would say that? <laughs> <laughs> what man would ever say that? Times have changed. This is bullshit. No. <laughs> I pretended to be bad at math to get you to help me, but I'm not bad at math. I'm actually, I'm actually really good at math. You're the one who's only kind of okay at math. Oh, yeah, she faded, faded. Why wouldn't you just talk to me? Because of Regina, because you were her property. Her property? Shut up, not her property. Don't tell me to shut up. Mm. Uh-oh. What? Aaron, sit down. Good, good for you, you Aaron. clone of Regina. Good for you, Aaron. Yeah, good for you, super fictional guy that doesn't exist in real life. That's, <laughs> that is not the, how that conversation would go. Maybe I just didn't have self-respect in high school. <laughs> I don't know. Like... <laughs> he said, maybe I didn't have self-respect. <laughs> Aaron, wait! Oh! <laughs> Oh. You dirty little liar. Wow. I have to act like I don't know you. Wow. You are full of lies. Janice, I cannot stop this jazz and you know I have a curfew. <laughs> what the hell? That's what his grandma's ride is? That's hilarious. <laughs> I hate Regina's guts, but here's what you don't comprehend. At least she has the guts to not pretend to be my friend. Mm. Have this. Won an award. Janice. No, it's fun. Where'd that go from? Really fun. <laughs> go be fun. And I want my pink shirt. Who <laughs> 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 that stole Nana's ride? <laughs> What's the top speed on that? <laughs> what you just saw? Oh, uh, remember she said threads are what emotion. She did her art with thread. It must be nice to be a dude in high school with women just throwing themselves at you where you can have an attitude and be like, my feelings are hurt. I'm leaving. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know that luxury in high school. If a, if a girl was being an asshole to me, I just like, all right, that's just how this is, right? Mm. <laughs> you think that's her actual voice? Uh, I would like to think so. Takes the wrong person to find it. I can't even imagine in today's like phones and social media how quickly things will get passed around. My name is Regina George, and in case you're Dang. keeping score, yep. She's still holding herself. Yeah. <laughs> Transition. Rachel Hamilton. Fills her inhaler with vodka. I mean, is, is that worse? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. 
<laughs> Yo, this is super creative. <laughs> you need to prove whoever called you a drug pusher was just joking. Okay, fine, but you are walking the dogs every morning for the rest of the week. Oh, thank you. Are they together? Love you. Oh, they are. Oh, that's an interesting little tidbit. It's was a, that disclosed in the first one? I don't, I don't remember. I didn't. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Yo, you hear it? That note. <laughs> That was great! You really thought a song was coming! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Psyched you out. Yeah, oh, that was good. That note was so sour though. We as women have to be able to trust and support each other. Like this. Ooh, I wouldn't do that. Okay, that was good. That was really good. That could have really backfired. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's actually just as selfish and phony as Regina George. So this apology is to myself. Because I should have known better. Mm. So your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. Well, I have some advice. Because it's happened to me twice. Mm. Whatever they say about me. I don't I care. Don't I care. feel that. <laughs> I'd rather be me. I'd rather be me than be with you. Good attitude. I feel that. Forget all that. <laughs> My feelings not f that. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about oh, that. Shoot, I did too. I thought they they did the play on it. And that's earlier. George died. And they really brought it back again. No one does. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, the rumor mill started going insane. Y'all, so I just saw Regina get hit by a bus. Artery come out of her neck and her head went all the way around and eyes. Street safety is so important. Like I'm just sad. Like, that's all I can say. <laughs> Don't fill up my comments, but karma. Girls are made deranged at what's called hormones. Hormones. Oh, He's spelling it hard. Wow. Hormones. <laughs> I wrote that Ms. Norbury is a drug pusher and it's a lie. It's a little late, <laughs> but... Will you be attending the spring fling this weekend? No. Everyone hates me. Perfect, because I figured out a way for you to earn some extra credit. Hey, bird, you ready? Welcome to the oh, the OG, triple OG. Sponsored What's up, Lindsay? I was wondering if she was going to make a bop her head in and be like, hey, how you doing? Is she the only one who's made a cameo appearance? No, we just got to see Tina Fey and Tim no, Meadows. No, I know, I know about <laughs> Tina Fey. I know about them. I'm talking about the original kids. For a hot second, I thought Regina's mom might have been one of the originals, but she wasn't. Second three, so yeah, some told us that Y equals five. Excellent. I feel my brain begins. I dropped it like a light. Is that dude from the brother's son? That's not him, is it? No. No, 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 no. Oh. Dang, Mom. The slope of the tangent line is four. Excellent. Well, this has only ever happened once before. American-born Chinese, that's where he was from. I was like, I know I've seen him in something. We don't all look the same, Sintel. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had one in the beginning. This is mine in the end. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's North Shore versus Mary Mount. Yeah, whatever. A very wise teacher. The limit is negative one. Yeah, we're competing. Ain't nobody trying to hear that monologue. That answer is incorrect. Oh. If Miss Heron can answer correctly, we have a winner. You got this, golf bird. <sighs> Why can't I remember anything about limits? Why did you waste time insulting me? Why did I waste time judging your hair? This is not a competition. It is a competition, so. yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was stupid. 
but now I get it. No what ifs, my hats could have been if I had only tried that hell back. That's not a part of my plan. I see the things that I missed. No, that's not the me that I am. The limit, it doesn't exist. The limit does not exist. Our new state champions, the North Shore map. I wish I had a memory like that. You just some see, you see some shit like Rain Man, and you just like got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about the bus. I feel like it's all my fault. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not your fault. Okay, don't apologize for things that aren't your fault. But yeah. I think people voted for me because they think I pushed someone in front of a bus. It's not your fault. A bus pushed me. <laughs> That's one way to put it. She has some great drugs right now. <laughs> it just seems weird for one person to win this. I mean, it's just a chunk of plastic. You could just share it. Oh. Plastic don't shine. Glitter don't shine. Rhinestones don't shine the way you do. You are so real. You are so rare. I see you there. <laughs> <laughs> I see stars. You shine as bright as day. I will look out for you. <laughs> She's so high. <laughs> she... Are you still mad at me? I don't know. Are you still an asshole? <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, that's the girl that doesn't even go there, right? Yeah. She's she spilling her feelings. <laughs> but she does not go yeah. there. <laughs> Congrats on winning state. The jacket looks uh, really good on you. Thanks. It has a pocket inside for a calculator. What? Yeah. Gruel. <laughs> Gruel. <laughs> Way to bring that back. Oh, she just shot. Just the first. Mm. Karen discovered the safe joy of dancing with theater boys. <laughs> so the moral of our story is thus. Calling someone stupid won't make you any smarter. Mm. And even the people you really don't oh, like the back are in their still people who just want to coexist. So get off their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoyed that like way more than i should have do you like this more than the original i think i do i think i had more laughs on this one and i didn't realize how much i appreciated the music the music was phenomenal like you, really really good are you still playing yours yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are watching kids dance yeah no the girl's <laughs> being fed the drink uh, um oh they're frenzies now Oh, uh, it's because she's high. <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, I'm guessing this is what what it would kind of look like if you're in high school and like videotaping randomly with your phone. Yeah. So, every, every everybody's got a camera now. So. Oh yeah, I mean, you see her holding it. Yeah. I think I like the original more. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I, I feel like I had more laughs with the. <laughs> as soon as I said it too. I feel like I had more <laughs>, laughs with the original, but I would have to rewatch my reaction and then watch this one back to see for sure. Right. But I do remember us being surprised how much we liked the original too, though. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just really I mean, it's Tina Fey. Tina Fey don't really miss a lot. She's just a really good producer yeah. and a writer. Yeah. You know? I am curious. I couldn't like I hope this is not like a like wrong to ask. I feel like it's perfectly legitimate to ask, but they showed a lot of LGBTQ relationships. Oh. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. background and stuff like that. I mean, in the and, foreground. And the foreground. <laughs> and, you know, we had some main characters as well, sure. But like, I'm curious for anyone watching who is either in high school or just out of high school, if that uh, feels familiar. Like, if that represents like your experience in high school. Because when I was in high school, I didn't see that very much. Not that those people didn't exist. Like, they have always existed. Right. But I just didn't see those kinds of relationships with the PDA, like full on display. When I was at the prom, I didn't see anything like that. But we live in a different era now. And so 
I just would love to know if that's kind of what it looks like now, if that's the if that's the landscape. I'm willing to bet that this is just a parody on high school in general, because there's a lot of stuff that in my regular high school, this, this has just been ramped and amped up. Yeah. So I would assume it's like that for all members involved, whatever, whatever group you, you want to be a part of. Yeah. That there's this is going to be just. You know, a little over the top on, on, on all efforts. That's what I'm assuming. But of course, by all means, no, but let like, us know. When I was in, in high chat. school, I saw people making out. They just, it, I, it was not ever anyone that was not heterosexual, though. You know? Oh, and, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, okay, okay. And, like, does that just happen now? I would assume so, though, yeah, right? I have, uh, that's what I'm curious about is if, that, if well, it's changed that much and we have that much acceptance now that we've got to that level. You know what I mean? Well, this is also in California, too. Like, I, I don't know if those rules play the same if you're like, you know, in Tupelo, Mississippi. You know, I just, <laughs> it might. It might be a little hey different. Man, it's got <laughs> it a lot maybe. of friendly folks too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just, you know, I guess it just depends on where you're at. Yeah. One of the things they emphasized here was just how your the phone and social media will also affect your life versus before that. You know, when me and girls, the first one came out, that wasn't as much of a thing. And right. so it's, and it's like, very incorporated yeah. now in this one. Yeah. yeah. And so like the ability to ruin someone's life is so much easier now with social media than it was back when we were in high school. I like that that was uh, an update that was added on to this because it just makes sense. And it's also kind of like a cautionary thing for parents who see this. It's like, yo, like if you've got kids, like, you got to be aware that your kids are going to have to combat this. I thought it was interesting that they brought the burn book back because I don't know if kids still do that. Uh, I remember there being things like a burn. It wasn't a real book, but I do remember like people having drawings being passed on, little gossip things that would be passed on. It wasn't as organized as a burn book. Yeah. But that seems like such an analog thing today, right? I was I'm surprised that they they maintain that from the older version and didn't go with, you know, like, I don't know, like a burn TikTok account or something like that. I think it works better for me as an old head that's watching this for the, for yeah, the yeah. second time, because I can I can certainly associate with the with the burn book, the, the idea of that more so than how kids do that today. It wouldn't surprise they, me. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly, if they like they, the thing is, like you, you see this. I don't want to say regression, but this sort of like bringing back a film. Like that's become okay. a hobby again for a lot of people mm. just because they mm. want something different. You know, things come in ebb and flow. And I think that mm -hmm. when you're in high school, it's, it's entirely possible that people share those little Polaroid things. And so analog is not dead. It's just different, you know, in the way that it's used. And you're probably right. They're probably, you know, a burn, an actual physical burn book may, maybe not be a thing anymore, but no. you needed that for this movie. Cause like, it's just, it, it that seems so central to just the, I don't know, the premise of the film. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something I think that was kind of interesting too, uh, the actress playing Katie, even though I thought she did a very good job, I think she might have been the weakest link out of all of the cast. Everybody else to me was just like head and shoulders above her. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful to Katie. I, I'm saying that that's, that's a testament to how good you know, some of the other uh, co-stars were. I thought Regina was amazing when she was doing all of her singing. She was awesome. I loved, uh, what was it, Janice? The one that her final song towards the end was just super dope. Yeah. Uh, I thought Damien was funny. Uh, Karen, to me, t stole the show with all of her ditziness and falling all over the place. Gretchen was hot, was, was dope. Like, there, like, a lot of the side characters really really shined and you know and for me i don't really see that a whole lot regarding like the burden of carrying the film being on one person i feel like the co-stars actually carried the carried the movie mm -hmm. uh, more than the actual star did I katie it, was good initially i was unsure renee rap who plays regina made sense because initially because she's so old <laughs> um it's it's not her it's not that i i don't mind her age because like i grew up with saved by the bell and power rangers and so i'm used mm -hmm. to people being like proper grown-ups playing high school kids her demeanor and her way of playing it was so real compared to everybody else who was more like this is theater <laughs> you, know, yeah. like, yeah. you know where it felt more over the top uh, who, who karen who, karen was great who in real life karen. goes by one name avantika I wouldn't mind seeing her in something else. It's it's tough to pull off funny. Funny is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And if you could be funny, I think you can transition and do a lot more other things, dramatically speaking. Mm -hmm. And she had great timing. She was just, yeah, she was always in the moment. So I, I'm curious about her as an actress. I, I'll definitely look for her for other stuff. The thing I liked most about this movie was the timing with the choreography and the camera work mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I thought it was so well done in that regard and so creative 
And w the thing that I appreciate about this film was they didn't seek to just redo the first movie and just update it a little bit. They made it a completely different experience. Like this is to me, this is a fundamentally different experience from the first film. You know? Oh, I, I completely yeah. agree with you on yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, because yes. because just by virtue of the fact that it's a it's a musical, right? And the approach to doing the musical elements, I was I, I'm not a musical person outside of watching you know Indian films. When it comes to American musicals, I I don't typically uh, volunteer to watch that kind of stuff. This actually really appealed to me just because I, I found it to be very creative in terms of the dance movement, working with the camera, and like the way the camera was being used. Even little things where the camera was kind of rotating as it went underneath right. people and around and stuff like that. Like that long dance sequence with um, the friend, the art friend, I forgot her name. Is it? Uh, Janice. Janice, okay. Yeah. Like when she had her long m a music moment before uh, Regina gets hit by the bus. Yeah. That shit was bananas. Like yeah. it's not it's not just a wonder. It's a very creative wonder where I don't even realize I'm watching a wonder. What the thing mm. that I hate about wonders today is I notice them. It's mm. like, oh, we're doing a wonder now. Oh, I can see the yeah. stitching. Oh, it feels like one long take. Uh, it's like the mm. novelty is worn off. But the okay. way they did it here, I was convinced they really just did the longest take possible, going through the whole school up mm. until they got outside. I was, I, I just thought that was really cool the way they did that. The first mm -hmm. one I feel like made me laugh more consistently, whereas this one I was like, huh. And then I would have some good laughs sometimes, you know? I, okay. I, I didn't have a bad experience by any means, right. um, but it was just like, this is cool. Like it's its own thing, uh, but I, I still prefer the first one. I'm curious as to, as to what the people in the chat think regarding like the differences. And were, is this your first look at watching this and what do you think? And have you watched the second one? Like here's an interesting, like I'll be curious to know what people think that saw this first and then watch the old one, you know? Because I think more folks are probably going to go, you know, I've seen the original and it's a bit of a throwback and then and then they have this to stack on top of yeah. it. So I think I think the the winner of this entire project is Tina Fey. Yeah, uh, because this could have easily gone wrong, mm -hmm. easily gone wrong, it's especially now when when we're in like remake hell. But she breathed new life into it. You know, it was some great hat tips, great hat tips for bringing back Tim Meadows. Great hat tip of bringing Lindsay Lohan, who I thought probably would have brought more to that particular role. She was just eh in it, but still, but it's still a good, it's still a good hat tip. And then bringing herself back in it is as well. Um, the great hat tips with the with the with the bus hitting the girl and throwing us off and kind of in the beginning, you know, that was yeah. I, Tina Fey, you you did the damn thing, and you have continued to prove you know what the hell you're doing. I kind of wrote off the dude, Aaron. Uh, as soon as the party happened, when when he when he went back with the with with Regina at the party, I was just like, oh fuck this guy, like <laughs> I'm just because I know what that feels like and it sucks. Mm. It's like it's such a <laughs> shitty feeling. It's like I I don't have a lot of empathy in my heart for those kinds of things. You know what mm. I mean? I wanted I wanted uh, uh, Katie to end up with the Indian dude. <laughs> Cause <laughs> yeah, that dude was funny. Yeah, like he he had his eyes on her from the get go. He saw her yeah. like as she was just like in her real natural state when she first yeah. arrived. He's like, I'm into you. That's the dude you go with, you know. Like he should have. I don't know. That that kind of annoyed me that they didn't change that. That he she still she still went with that dude. I, yeah, Aaron and Aaron's just flat too. It's just boring. It was just. Yeah. I mean, he but he's but yeah, he's supposed to be just the face, and I get it. Well, no, he's not. He, it, yeah, I, I guess I just get frustrated because I'm like, fuck this guy. This girl's just throwing himself, themselves <laughs> yeah. at him. It's, it's like, it's come so easy. I had to put in work. <laughs> it's like, no, Katie, we should go downstairs. It's like 17 year old hormonal <laughs> pre yeah. teenage kids thinking that. Never. Never. <laughs> but the times they are, they are a changing. No, they, maybe, you know. <laughs> people still be making babies. No, they're not changing that much. He would say, <laughs> he, he, there's no way he would say that. If she's like, let's sit down on the bed, and he's like, no, nah, we should go downstairs, that would never happen. Mm. They just wouldn't. I just don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. And that moment when they're sitting on the bed and she kind of like low key insults him, and he mm -hmm. took it so personally, and I'm like, I just, I, I don't know, I put myself in that, in that situation. I'm like, I don't think I would have reacted the way he did and been so vocal about it because I don't know when a girl's gonna talk to me ever. This might be the last girl I ever talk to. 
<laughs> that might be it. <laughs> you, know? Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but, yeah. It, but obviously women keep throwing themselves at him. So, so he has the privilege to be able to be like, I don't like how you treated me. I'm leaving. <laughs> well, he's like insanely handsome. I yeah. guess so. They get, they, you know, handsome people, handsome, beautiful people get special privileges. I can, guess. Can, can we can we finish this off with your story about when you brought a girl to a party? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I've actually had uh, my, my my lady took before. Um, I was on my way to a party, met somebody. It was cool. We, we, it was a uh, great chemistry sharing each other's uh, uh, vibe, looking into each other's eyes. I was like, there's a party, you know, you should come check it out. Come with me. She was like, yeah, bet, you know? I'm like, yes, I'm all happy because I'm thinking I'm about to close. We get to the party, show up. My homeboy opens the door, was like, hey, you know, welcome to the party. We, we walk in, have a couple of drinks and I'm talking to somebody off to the side and I look, look around and I'm like, hey man, what happened to the girl I brought to the party? <laughs> <laughs> Just vamos, disappeared. Mm. Gone. It's like another 10, 15 minutes or so come down. My homeboy comes back downstairs and was like, yo, that girl that you brought to the party? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they had been hooking up. Yeah. yeah. Hooking up. You told me that. Meanwhile, I'm holding the punch. <laughs> yeah, you're holding the punch. <laughs> I'm holding the punch. Okay. Yeah, that, so that, here's that. here's how you described it to me. I'm going to give my version of this, okay? <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna name him Chris because we gotta change the names okay. up, right? So 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 you show up at you show up uh, to the party to Chris's party, mm -hmm. and uh, he opens the door and immediately his eyes are on her and you're like, okay, and whatever, cool, and you're just being chill about it, right? But he he was already set from the word go from the moment he said hello, and so you're at the party, we're like where is she? You can't find her. And then you're, I forget where you end up, like on the roof or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then he comes out, Chris comes out and he's like, yo, where's Jennifer at? And he's like, oh yeah, she was just giving me head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give the PG version, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and, and, but I distinctly remember like your follow up to that. You're like, you're like, you know, it was, I couldn't be mad. You're like, it was this feeling of like, you ever see Kobe do a layup? <laughs> you ever see Kobe dunk? It was kind of like that. Like the yeah, game, game like was that. just so yeah. good. I I couldn't even be hurt. <laughs> it was nasty with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, to be young. Yeah. Girl. And so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's why I just I wrote I, I wrote I wrote off, dude. Aaron, fuck yeah. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron can kick these rocks. Yeah, fuck that dude. That just made me. I was triggered. I was so triggered. I see, like old girl when she was like, <laughs> she was on a treadmill when she found out about the. <laughs> yeah, yo, the snapping is real. The snapping is real. Anyway, I, I thought this was a, a very uh, good update, and like you said, we got like tons of remakes and sequels and stuff like that. And for mm. that being part of this family of movies that is no. uh, a remake, I thought that it was c quite compelling, quite strong, like you said, and it was very entertaining. My favorite thing about it, though, is still like the creative elements of it. It's the first film I've seen in a long time where I'm like, I'm actually okay with them changing aspect ratios. That actually makes sense to me. You know? That was cool. You know? So, anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Koi. This is. Hey, it's your boy Sintel. Peace out.